Hello and good day to you, sir. Andy here, training right wing. And something I came across this morning, it came into my, well, I saw it when I was doing a live stream on Rumble, and there was a little option there that says Rumble Studio. I thought, wow, what's that? So I went to investigate, and what I have to tell you is probably, I'm going to be probably one of the first few people to, to tell you about it. But it's actually marvellous. I'm, I'm actually quite impressed. This whole thing allows you to uh, do a, a live stream to multiple platforms, very similar to things like StreamYard and uh, Melon and um, what's the other one? Oh, there's another one. Stream StreamYard, um, Stream uh, something or other. Yeah, you know what I mean. There are there are a few platforms out there. Uh, StreamYard, if you want to get any f sense out of it, you then have to pay. Uh, but Rumble, at the moment, is free to uh, do a similar, similar number of um, platforms. So at the moment, I've got it set to uh, three or four or five, something like that. I don't know, I don't know any more than that at the moment, but I can show you so you can go and find out about this because it looks like Rumble are going to be taking the market as far as multi-streaming is concerned. Yeah, that's it. It's good news. So let's have a look. My Rumble page. Here's my Rumble page. Uh, and of course, some um, majority of these are live streams, but there are a couple of videos there that I've uploaded. But I, um, I do a lot of live streaming from Rumble because it is so easy to do on Rumble, it's unbelievably easy and intuitive as well. Now over in the right hand corner at the top, you'll see that there's a little button. You can upload a video, you can go live, which I've, I've done a, a video about that. Uh, but also down the bottom there is Rumble Studio. Yes, now that, that is actually the new option. Now obviously when you click on that, you get a page now you won't see this page yet i, I can't um i can't go back because i've already set this up but rumble studio it will now ask you to log in so you activate your uh login your rumble account and it will um uh, let you go further uh, and you can select you can actually do it after the fact as well so we'll do it after the fact what you have to do is manage your destination so it will ask you what platforms you want to live stream to and it will allow you to set them up so connect and then obviously you have to give permission for them to connect and it's absolutely brilliant because all of these platforms i would live stream to anyway uh, including a, a new destination there which is rtmp i put on there for odyssey so my Odyssey account that I would I would live stream to is also included. Now, once you've done these uh, destinations, then obviously you can um, select them. Uh, you can select the ones you want when you're live streaming. So you don't have to have them. I don't think you have to have them, all of them uh, when you're live streaming. You can actually select. So if you only want to do um, Rumble and YouTube, for example, then you could do that. Or you could do Rumble, Twitch and and Facebook, or you could do, you know, any combination of those uh, things. Now, um, when I put the Facebook uh, connection, it actually, I had to put my Facebook page, which is my personal page, I, I have a group page, I would have preferred it to do that. I don't know if you can, so I'm not sure, but I will need to um, delete it and then re-add it. To test it out and uh, we'll do that in private i don't really want to do that here but you can see that your rumble account is the main account um, and of course when you've set this up you're obviously uh can have an rss feed if you want to put that on your uh website when you go to the home page here it will allow you to set up a new stream or from a template now presumably that is a, a a previous live stream that you've done so for example if we set up a new stream 
right? And I want to do streaming to obviously Rumble. You have to select the channel that you've got. Uh, so we could do um, I don't know. Let's do Facebook and Odyssey. Now if there's no information about whether you have to go into any of these and and actually set up a separate uh, live stream event. I presume you, you would have to do that with, um, for example, Odyssey. I, I do that normally, so I would have to go into Odyssey and create a live stream, and then it would live stream. Uh, if I don't do it, I don't know what happens. Uh, and obviously on StreamYard, the same thing applies. I would have to go into Odyssey and also Rumble because they are done. They are done on um, RTMP under StreamYard. They're not done on that one here, apart from the Odyssey. Uh, so when you want to create a new live stream, so for example, you can put your thumbnail or an optional placeholder video if you have one. I think um, if you don't put it, then it does it by default. Uh, the title. Of the live stream that you've got, and you can schedule the time, or you can have it immediately. Um, so we can do a, uh, a live stream for today. Maybe I don't know. It's twelve. Um, yeah, we'll do it for twelve. So live stream for there, or obviously if you don't put that in, it we right now. Um, the Rumble license that you have, obviously, if you have that set up, then obviously you get monetized under Rumble. Um, if you forget and you want to add another destination, then obviously you can go back here and uh, add a new one. If you add it yet, then uh, you, uh, Locals is a, a different platform that I'm not signed up to at the moment, but I will. Or Custom, so you need the... Um, RTMP URL and the stream key. You can only ever have one, it looks like, of Facebook or uh, any of these. I mean, I actually have um, uh, several pages on Facebook and um, several channels on YouTube. Uh, it looks like you can't have more than one. Actually, if you do personal, it won't be monetized, it won't be found or seen. Um, I don't know how that affects other platforms though so obviously I've only got it on Facebook and uh, Odyssey and obviously Rumble 4 that's not enough it's not enough title that's what it is that's uh, it's, there you go that's 5 so you need a longer title next and then of course it says turn on your camera and your microphone uh, select the layout and this screen is very much like the StreamYard screen um, with this advice. It's probably because I'm using it in OES that's not letting me do it. Let's turn it on. So that's the one behind me. Right, so um, to put it on the screen, let's put it up there. There's the picture, so you can have it. I would put it on auto, let's see, because uh, obviously the background element you can set. So there will be um, a background, you can do uh, themes, um, save theme there, uh, you can edit the theme, you can turn the theme off, on, uh, and put basically what you like. You can have text as well that you can set up, so you can add text, um, you can have like a ticker, uh, you can do a, a disappearing text item you can turn it on or off it'll be where we want top middle bottom um let's do a um test message put it at the bottom and um, put this on here put this in here we have uh well, I don't know, five seconds five seconds to there and create so we've now got that and when we put this on turn it on it will appear 
down the bottom for five seconds. Obviously, I've not set the colour, um, so that's how I need to go back and edit that. Uh, media, so I obviously adding graphic sound or video, and in the test video that I saw, they had videos loaded, and then you just click the button and it will actually play. So if you had like an intro uh, or, or an advert or something like that, you could actually go through, click the button and pl it would play. Uh, and obviously that would be really useful. Uh, here we have uh, the default theme. Save themes. I don't know if you can edit that theme. Um, it's basically... We've got what we've got up here. Uh, this, is, this is the platforms that we're going to be doing. There's three of them. Uh, and we can actually go back and change those. For example, add another platform. And now we've got four. It's very simple to do. These other options here. So solo, if you have two people come on. The way that you get people on is the participations uh, is through a, a link um, and requiring approval so that they need to be approved before they can pop on so you can stop people from coming on your live stream that you don't want or going to be doing uh, naughty things uh, you can actually vet people um, the, the invitation is up to nine people at the same time so that is a lot of people um, but you basically copy the link, send that to the people, and they end up in the waiting room. And then obviously this is where you are. So you basically go in here, click the button, and then they get moved over to the to the actual uh, studio. And then you can adjust how many people are on the screen. Um, but that is all very intuitive. I find it very, very good. Um, you can share your screen, uh, disable the camera and the microphone, and uh, you're ready to go. You go live, and obviously that will put the uh, output from this to all of the platforms that you want. It's very, very intuitive, very, very good. It looks like it's going to be something that I need to play around with. And uh, I don't particularly like the dark colour. I wish there was a light colour. Because uh, I don't like these dark, dark themes. Um, yeah, it's just really annoying. So there you go. That's Rumble. It's a Rumble Studio. First look at that. I'm going to be playing with it. Because I think it could help me out. And obviously save me a lot of money. Because at the moment I have to pay for StreamYard which is supposed to be a lot of money per year and I need to save some money somehow and if, I, if, it, can, if it can work as well as it does I know there are other platforms but they do limit the number of, of um, platforms that you can live stream to this one so far is free so and it does everything I need it to do like allowing guests to come on and um Securing the guests as well, so you, you haven't got to worry about uh, people coming on that are not authorised. So I hope that was useful for you, and um, I'll catch you later when I make another video about this, when I'm using it. Right, bye for now.